and welcome back to Community Conversations here at the Concord TV studio. Today we're talking about Day of Caring through Granite United Way and I'm glad to have two guests with me today including someone who's never been to the studio before which is always fun to welcome people to our little family here at Concord TV. So I'd like to welcome Carrie Gladstone who's the area director uh, for the Merrimack County region of Granite United Way. Carrie, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Josh. Great to be with you. And thank you to CTV for the opportunity. Happy to do it. And then, of course, Lynette uh, McComber. McCumber. McCumber, yeah. thanks for joining us. Yeah. You are on the Day of Caring Committee and yes. also an attorney at Orrin Reno, which is right down the street from us. So Yeah, right above Gibson's Bookstore. Awesome, great. So thank you for having us. Yeah, glad to have you. And um, we had mentioned the Day of Caring, but before we get into that, Carrie, I think to back up a step and talk about what is Granite United Way and United Way in general. When we said off camera that most people have heard of this organization, but just tell us a little bit about what it actually is. Well, United Way is a national and in fact international organization operating in more than 100 countries. And traditionally, people know us from perhaps their uh, workplace campaign when they started uh, in the workforce, they were encouraged to sign a pledge form and uh, that helped raise the money, continues to help raise the money that we give out by uh, reaching out to local nonprofits. The way Granite United Way has developed over the years is that we are operating in seven regions and that has helped us to become uh, strongly present locally while at the same time managing some efficiencies. Granite United Way is actually the largest United Way in New Hampshire serving uh, okay. uh, parts uh, or all of eight out of ten New Hampshire counties as well as Windsor County, Vermont because the Upper Valley is part of Granite United Way and yep. that, that's the way they do business in that part of the state and across the river into Vermont. Okay. Well that's a good background for us and I think that segues into the Day of Caring which is coming up in September and um, if you could tell us a little bit about what that or that event entails, the purpose of it, because um, I think we have a lot of organizations and potential volunteers who'd love to know more about this. Absolutely. United Way has worked with nonprofit organizations for, for, for decades, and we also work very closely with, with the business community. And so uh, we want to make sure that business people are involved in their local community. And this is a one-day opportunity through Day of Caring where people can put together a team of volunteers from their office. They spend a day or a half day working on local projects, gets them out of the office, gets them a chance to meet some of the local folks who run nonprofit organizations that are meeting critical needs within our community. So we, we now have an understanding of what the, the Day of Caring is, but getting back to the business community and that tie-in. So Lynette, you're an attorney at Orrin Reno, you're on the committee for Day of Caring. How did that all come to be your involvement with this? Yeah, so as uh, so often happens. Um, I'm stepping into the shoes of someone at my firm who mm -hmm. was do, was on the Day of Caring Committee, um, but Orrin Reno has actually been involved in the Day of Caring for, I think, several decades now, okay. or at least as long as Day of Caring has been going on, yep. um, and, and with Granite United Way generally. Um, yeah. And so over time, a lot of attorneys from Orrin Reno have been on the committees and the boards of United Way, and um, one of the founding pillars of our firm is, is community service and mm -hmm. giving back to the community. So I was very excited to have this opportunity to get out in the Concord community. I recently moved back up into the area, so okay. I'm excited to get involved. Well, welcome back to the Thank area. You. And what a crash course uh, for anyone looking to get involved to understanding more about their community, right? Working with other community organizations. So it's, a great, it's a great partnership. And, and also kudos to Orrin Reno and other businesses who have that as part of their core, you know, that they're not just a business, they are in our community. So I really appreciate when groups do that. Thank so. you. Yeah. Um, and tell us a little bit about your role in the, on the committee or, mm -hmm. or what goes into that. I know I've attended one of the committee meetings recently on a communication side, but, um, and this could be for either of you, what goes into being on the committee that puts an entire event together like this? I know there's a lot that Carrie does that I, that I don't even see on the committee, um, yeah. but my role is, is reaching out to organizations in the community to see if they'll um, make a donation of food or gift cards or just some kind of um, way to support Day of Caring. Mm -hmm. um, so we're contacting all you know Concord local businesses um, to see if they'll provide some support. And then also um, at Orrin Reno, I'm getting a group together of yeah. volunteers to register for Day of Caring on September 20th. Okay. Is, is that easy or hard? Uh, there's different personality types, kind of picking up the phone or sending that email asking for 
you know, help us with this in-kind support? Or so, is that is that difficult for you to do, or is that easy because you're used to talking to people you don't know? <laughs> is, is that just something that comes naturally, or? I think, yeah. like you said, uh, being an attorney does help because I have to um, talk to people I don't know all the time. Um, yep. But and it comes easy because the community is so caring. Um, yeah. They make it very easy. I think businesses businesses in Concord are, are very approachable. Everyone's been very receptive, um, and I know there's been a ton of support in the past um, for Day of Caring each year. So we do have a lot of recurring um, partners and Good. sponsors. Yeah. That is kind of a hallmark of Concord, um, where it's sort of a, if you ask for help, people will be there to help. Exactly. Um, and Concord has lived up to that during my time here, and I think it's that's been a reputation for quite a while now, where if you ask for help, there will be organizations that provide that support. So I think that's huge. Carrie, do you agree with that sentiment as Oh, well? yes, and particularly in the legal community. I mean, that was one of the things that I learned when I first came to Concord and I was involved in another organization and was told, you know, the law, legal community is, is very responsive and uh, very much involved in, in you know, sitting on boards and committees. Uh, rolling up their sleeves, involved in fundraising, and uh, Day of Caring is a perfect example of that because it gives folks an opportunity, uh, as Lynn, sitting on the committee, helped organize the upcoming Day of Caring. There are other folks who may just say, it gives me you know, three hours out painting the, the community room at a local so social service agency, or it could be you know, a, a three-year term on the board of directors. Uh, so there are great volunteer opportunities that we want to uh, really tap into the folks who you know, really know that we can we can go to them, and uh, yeah. they're always saying yes. Right. So there's kind of in terms of who supports and participates, it's really based on people's availability or I guess expertise to to a certain degree. But if people have a few hours to give or many hours to give, there's an opportunity for anyone, right? And so I guess that leads to sort of my next question, which is. For Day of Caring, what, give us some examples of who are some of the sites that are participating, some of the businesses participating, and, and who takes part in an event like this, especially it's all over the state, but using Concord, for example. Well, the short answer is anyone and everyone who yep. uh, has a nonprofit organization that has needs is encouraged to sign up. So we'll be uh, doing work at the uh, Merrimack Valley Daycare, just across the street from where we sit, mm -hmm. uh, at the, at, in Chichester, the Live and Let Live Farm. Yep always is a, a participant with lots of opportunities for folks. If you go around town on that day, you'll see some folks doing cleanup around the rocket that sits outside the uh, Shepherd McAuliffe Discovery Center, yep. as well as uh, just a, a whole host of, any, uh, of groups. Women's Club of Concord, for the first time, uh, is participating, and, and you know they've got some cleanup work at their 100-plus-year-old uh, mm -hmm. home that they uh, have uh, that's available for you know, women who are in transitional uh, housing, as, as well as uh, looking to you know get their lives back on track with scholarships and overcoming uh, you know, domestic violence, which mm -hmm. brings me to the uh, Concord Crisis Center or the Community yeah. Crisis Center of Central New Hampshire, yeah. uh, is also uh, looking to say we can get folks from the community engaged, and it's more than just painting the room. It's about making those connections, and right. often it's with the, the leadership of that organization, sometimes with the, the uh, people who are served as organizations right. that get a chance to tell their story, and it leads to ongoing connections as well. Oh yeah, I can totally imagine um, that you're there, you're helping, you're learning more about the organization. You might meet the executive director, you might meet uh, someone who benefits from the services provided. Like, how do you not feel that connection when you actually see the meet these people face to face and see what this organization does? So I, I totally I, I get how there's that. It's not just that one service you're providing. And I'm sure there are people who have gone on to join boards or get more involved with organizations because that spark that came from Day of Caring. Yeah, we, we think so, and that's why we do this as a mm -hmm. service learning opportunity. It, yeah. It's more so than just having a big rally. It's getting people a chance to, to really hear more than just the stories, but actually go out and learn their, their, their themselves what are the stories that... Uh, you can come back with mm -hmm. and say, I helped this organization say, here's what they do, because I met somebody who was previously homeless and now they're uh, in transitional housing. And uh, I learned someone from someone who was able to, to get, uh, continue their education through Second Start. Uh, and you know, the, okay. all those yeah. wonderful opportunities. And then, you know, that said, we are feeding people. 
we recognize that this is a big commitment, even for a day. Sure. Yeah. So we want to recognize that volunteerism is important, and we want to reward it. So we are putting on a luncheon at uh, in Concord. It will be at the Kiwanis Park, mm -hmm. uh, Riverside Park, behind Everett Arena, yep. where we've got volunteers gathering donations of pizza and mm -hmm. uh, other foodstuffs. And you know, the, the committee's also charged with the decisions about what do we want this event to be. Mm -hmm. Is it a breakfast? Is it a lunch? What, what else uh, will we do? And what are the kind of projects that we want to encourage? And so yeah. it's been an opportunity for Granite United Way to use its technology more. We have a volunteer tracking system that is yep. plugged into our donor database management. Last year we used it for the first time to organize the uh, Day of Caring projects where the social service agencies could create the project and have it posted tell us what they plan to do. And so you know, Live and Let Live Farm has weed whacking and painting as separate opportunities. Yep. And it's also an opportunity for the nonprofit uh, or the organizations that want to send uh, their, their staff to create a team. Mm -hmm. And we will you know, give them a t-shirt as a reward as, uh, along with, so they can really look like they're part of uh, an organized effort, which they yeah, are. Absolutely. And have a, a real, bonding opportunity and we would be remiss if we didn't give a good plug to our our sponsors absolutely because there yeah. are there are costs involved sure. uh, so we want to make sure we're, we're being thankful to merrimack county savings bank returning as a sponsor or in reno returning as a sponsor lincoln financial they're a, an organization that has had a, a long commitment to granite united way at several levels and even though they don't have the same physical presence that they once had they've got 50 volunteers signed up for day of caring and it's so amazing yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're really putting their their mouths where their money is right in, in yeah. a sense and, and you know yeah. hl turner group and amera health caritas are also our, our, our sponsors and we're encouraging them to uh, get their uh, folks together and you know have a physical presence we, we welcome the the financial support mm -hmm. we, we couldn't live without it right. and we also really want the engagement yeah absolutely it's great to hear that businesses are are like you said putting their mouth where their money is and, and contributing, giving what they can, helping. Um, what would you say, Lynette, to to someone who hears about this, maybe they own a business, maybe, you know, from that perspective of it, and they're thinking about, eh, do we want to take the day off from work? What, what would you say to encourage someone if you saw a friend of yours who might be involved with a business? Why should they get involved and take part with Dave Caring? Yeah, so first, of course, it's incredibly rewarding and I think important to give back to the community that mm -hmm. you're in. Um, businesses, we exist in the community, we're part of it. Um, it's very important to give back to that. Um, again, there's the connections that you make that are going to be irreplaceable. Mm -hmm. um, and those are connections that could be lasting. Um, if you end up on the board of one of the nonprofits that you go and help, you know, those, are, those could be long-term connections. Um, and then I, I can't emphasize enough how easy it is for businesses to get involved. Mm -hmm. um, the portal for Unite, Granite United Way is very easy to use. You can register your business and then um, have volunteers sign up from within your company. So mm -hmm. it's very easy to get everyone organized, add people into the mix. Um, and then I guess lastly is who doesn't want to get out of the office for yeah. a few hours? Yeah. And there's free food. So free food. Uh, lots of good reasons yeah. to participate. Free food, getting out of the office. You even can build a camaraderie mm -hmm. with some of your teammates as kind of team building with coworkers, maybe people that you've never hung out with outside of work. That's or a good point. It seems like just kind of a fun, like I know from having helped paint before or working on these service projects, you. You build a connection team with your team, right? Definitely. Yeah. Yep. So, and other businesses, too. You yeah. might learn more about other industries while you're at it. Yeah. <laughs> so so there's I'll, I'll vouch yeah. for that. We had, uh, we, Granite United Way shares office in Concord with uh, New Hampshire Hospital Association, mm -hmm. and they had a great crew come out last year, and they're back at it this year. But I was able to visit the day after Day of Caring, and you, you could feel that. You know, people stopping by each other's offices and talking about the, the day and, and the event and you know, cleaning out the... Concord Coalition and homelessness basement so that it could be ready for an overflow winter shelter. So they were really feeling uh, they were contributing and then there was that bonding going on as well. Absolutely. Well, this is fantastic. This has been so much great information. I love that we're getting this out there and reminding folks that it's not too late to get involved with this year's event. Um, Carrie, if you could remind us um, where folks could get more information, potentially sign up, learn more about this year's Day of Caring. Sure, they can go to our website, graniteuw.org, follow the links to 
uh, the volunteer portal and they, they can sign up. Uh, it's not too late to sign a project up. Uh, and we're always looking for folks there. We, we've set a goal because volunteerism is very important mm -hmm. at Granite United Way. Currently in Merrimack County, there are 21 opportunities that could accommodate up to just about 300 volunteers. And throughout Granite United Way land, 116 opportunities are posted with us that could accommodate up to 1,500 volunteers. And this year, our goal is to have uh, 380 volunteers in Merrimack County and 2,000 volunteers engaged with us at Day of Caring, and that's part of a, an ambitious goal to engage uh, 4,000 volunteers over the course of the year. And so we provide a lot of other volunteer opportunities that I want to at least give a mention. Mm -hmm. So much of our work is carried out by volunteers. Our board of directors is all volunteers. Right. In each of our seven regions, we have a community impact committee that are, are folks uh, connected to their communities, making some important recommendations and uh, giving input so that we can carry out our work locally. VITA, our volunteer income tax assistance. Why is Granite United Way, a social service agency, doing free tax preparation? It's because there are a lot of low income working people, low and moderate income, I should say, mm -hmm. who are paying hundreds of dollars to get their taxes done, or they're doing it themselves and not sure if it's right. So we've had more than 250 volunteers in the last tax season engage themselves and get go through a certification yep. process so that they can provide that important service that gives way to a broader financial empowerment for those folks. They, they learn how to take control over their finances and make decisions that can benefit them, not just at tax time, but throughout the course of the year. Right, yeah, super important for that the whole year, not just that panic in April uh, that we all go through. So any other, um, I think this has been really comprehensive. Is there anything else that you wanted to share, um, something we didn't have a chance to cover? Because this is your chance, you're talking to the Concord community. Anything else that you wanted to get out there? Um, before we wrap up today's program. Yeah, I'll just mention projects that still need volunteers in Merrimack County include yeah. the Live and Let Live Farm, Fellowship Housing, uh, the Concord Coalition to End Homelessness, and I mentioned the Women's Club of Concord. Uh, among uh, 15 organizations so far that have contributed uh, 21 opportunities for folks to sign up and, yep. and give of themselves, learn a little bit, and make a connection in the community. And I'd just add, I know we are in Concord in Merrimack County, but we all have friends in other counties and, and regions in New Hampshire. And so encourage your friends also to sign up for Day of Caring in the other, the other counties and regions. Well, thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Lynette, for coming in, telling us about it. Of course, Concord TV, we're so committed to doing what we can to help amplify the voices of volunteerism, of the United, Granite United Way. Um, it's a huge part of our mission and kind of an important part of what keeps Concord and the whole state of New Hampshire um, going so strong and to get even stronger. And we thank you for that. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks, I really appreciate that. And thanks to everyone for tuning in to Community Conversations. We'll see you next time. And don't forget uh, to please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also subscribe on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Let us know if there's an organization you want to hear from or if there's a topic you want us to discuss because really, um, if you have an idea, we'd love to hear it. Until next time, thanks for watching.